Okay, this is our uh, second um, video in the series talking about basic concepts in algebra. And uh, right now we're going to talk about variables um, and equations. I guess we'll just call this variables and equations. Um, an equation is something that has an equal sign in it. Or a greater than sign or less than equal to sign. Um, you know, it's balancing two th or more things. So let's say uh, we say 4 plus 7 is 11. That's an equation. Um, we're showing that, you know, 4 plus 7 is the same as 11. If you were going to say this out loud, out loud, you'd say 4 plus 7 equals 11, or 11. And that equals is, uh, you know, where equation comes from. It's equate. It's equated to 11. Um, likewise, you can use greater than, less than, things like that. So if you say uh, 8 times 2 is greater than 10, it's the same thing. If you said it out loud, 8 times 2 is greater than 10. Or if you said the product of 8 and 2 is greater than 10. Okay, same idea. But that's uh, what an equation is. You can use equations to describe things. Um, let's say you have $25 and you go to the grocery store and you buy um, a few things. Let's say you buy um, some milk for $5, you buy some chips for $3, and uh, you buy some beef, I don't know, say a couple pounds of beef for $6 and you had um, you start with twenty five dollars to begin with well you could describe um, how much money you end up with uh, with an equation you say twenty five you know minus the five for the milk minus three for the chips minus six for the beef um, gives us eleven and we really think in terms of equations in a lot of ways and uh, we can describe things happening in terms of equations. That's why it's important. Okay, but if you notice in all these equations, I want to um, use a different one here. Everything in the equation is known. Uh, we know what, what I mean is we know what 1 is, we know what 2 is, we know what 3 is, we know what 4 is, and we know what 10 is. Okay, but you know, in problems we have in real life, we don't always know um, everything we're looking for. Let's say we want to know what, um, I don't know, 7 plus 6 is for whatever reason. Before we can say that that's 13, you know, that's 13 obviously, but before we can say it, it's an unknown, you know, that the answer here is an unknown. Um, and so you've been dealing with unknowns your entire life doing arithmetic. But it's usually just been by itself on one side of an equation. You see the unknown is here by itself. But what happens if we start mixing the unknown up? What if we say um, 3 plus some number is, uh, I don't know, 14? Okay, well then the problem, you know, it's changed. It's, um, you don't use just basic arithmetic to do it anymore. So we're going to have to develop um, sort of like a series of things that allow us to find these unknowns. These unknowns we're going to represent with letters, and um, we're going to call these variables. So let's start by defining variable um, represents a value. Uh, things we use for variables uh, could be letters, um, could be shapes. Greek symbols, um, but for the most part we're going to use letters right now. So here's what I mean. Let's say we have um, some problem like this. X plus 3 is 7. Um, what this means is some number plus 3 equals 7. Uh, we have ways to solve that and we're going to get to that in a future video. But here's um, 
sort of a real life example of when you would use an unknown. Say you go to the grocery store and you had a $20 bill in your pocket. And uh, we'll kind of use the example we used earlier. Let's say we bought milk for $5, cereal for $3. Okay. And we can't remember what it was, say some drinks. We can't remember how much they were. But we started with uh, started with twenty dollars, ended with uh, we'll say six dollars after we bought everything. Well, how would we find how much um, we paid for the drinks? Well, one way would be to start with uh, twenty, subtract the five dollars for the milk, subtract the three dollars for the cereal, and the six dollars we ended up with. And that'll give us our answer, which is that the drinks were six dollars. Another way to do it would be to use um, a variable in an equation. Well, the value of our milk plus the value of our cereal plus the value of our drinks, which we'll call the letter X, um, plus the six dollars we ended with, should be twenty. Another way we could say was that we started with twenty dollars. We bought the milk, the cereal, the drinks, which we don't remember how much they are, and that equals six. Now both of these will give you the same thing for x. It's just completely different ways of writing it. In our uh, next video, we're going to get into how to deal with. Um, you know, solving and figuring out what those X's are, which is really the basis for algebra.